with Jake Paul having just defeated renowned mixed martial artist Ben Askren in the boxing ring, more than a few professional fighters have made their opinions known regarding what the young gun is currently doing. And although he and his brother Logan have been making controversial waves since first appearing on YouTube, it goes without saying that their boxing venture is by far the most debated to date. But what have the professionals on the scene been saying about Jake Paul and the spectacle that he has been creating within the world of boxing? Before we get into it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe with the notifications on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. The origin of Jake the Boxer. To fully understand the entirety of the situation, we have to take some time to reflect on the career that Jake has actually developed from. You see, both he and his brother were around when Vine was a thing and would often post videos of themselves either dancing or performing a variety of comedy skits. But when the announcement was made that Vine had been bought over and will no longer be running, the Paul brothers had to find a new platform to post content. This is what led to them adopting a different style by flooding their respective YouTube channels with vlogging content. Already pretty wealthy due to his successful Vine and Disney career, Jake was able to create a vlogging experience that attracted millions of fans who would sit back and marvel at the expensive items he was able to surround himself with. Surely but surely, this content started to flow into the clickbait category, with Jake posting controversial videos such as the one titled I Lost My Virginity, with the thumbnail showing him and fellow YouTuber Erica Costell in a rather compromising position. After attracting more than a few haters, Jake went on to create the Team 10 House, which was basically a business model where popular YouTubers would live together and collaborate on a daily basis. This team up led to a pretty lucrative but often criticized rapping career, which involved Jake calling out a few YouTubers and creating beef for views. Somehow this developed from nothing more than fighting words to actual fighting, with Jake set to take on KSI's brother Deji in a bout, while his brother Logan took on KSI. When asked in an interview about what actually led him to want to box, he claimed that it was nothing more than the competition that comes with the sport, in his own words. Showing up and working your ass off, being alert, I don't know what else could really compare to being a professional fighter. I think it's probably the hardest thing in the world you could possibly do. And since the majority of the internet wanted to see both Logan and Jake be beaten to a bloody pulp, it goes without saying that the idea to move over into the professional fighting area was a good one, as far as financials were concerned. Regardless of who ends up winning a particular fight, Jake will always have the least to lose as people almost expect him to remain in the YouTube sphere of life. His opponents, on the other hand, who often hail from other professional sports, have a lot more to lose when facing off against him. And either way, the payout is absolutely insane at the end of the day, with Jake having reportedly brought in around 690,000 US dollars by just winning the fight. Remember, this is not inclusive of the other financial benefits that come with it, showing just how successful the young gun has become in so far as boxing with goes, but does his 3-0 career card give him respect within the fighting industry? Mike Tyson on the Jake Paul effect. One of the most exciting boxing appearances of last year took the form of Mike Tyson hauling his thinner but still muscle-bound figure out of retirement to face off against Roy Jones Jr. in November. Seeing Iron Mike perform one more time took viewers back to when boxing used to be great, with the fight being hosted by Triller, a company in which Jake Paul is actually a shareholder. And to make things even better, Snoop Dogg had been brought on to both perform and commentate the event, bringing the rapper back to the days when he was called on to commentate for the Call of Duty video game franchise. It was the post-fight conference that really got viewers' attention though, with Tyson being asked to give his opinion on Jake Paul entering the boxing arena in his unconventional way. And while the majority of expected Tyson to come down hard on the YouTuber, they were more than surprised to hear some praise from the King of the Ring, according to Tyson. Boxing was pretty much a dying sport. The UFC was kicking our butt. Boxing is going back, thanks to the YouTube boxers. When asked to explain why Tyson was feeling like Jake and his brother had essentially saved boxing because of their entry into the ring, Nick Pete had quite a bit to say. Although not a professional fighter himself, Pete has become one of the most respected sports journalists of all time, accumulating more than two decades worth of experience, and as it turns out, he very much agrees with Tyson. Next to nobody was watching boxing, but now that both Jake and Logan have made boxing cool again, the sport appears to be performing a lot better. It still hasn't quite reached the popularity of MMA, but if these fights are due to continue, there's a chance that boxing could give the UFC a run for its money, especially with Jake taking characters like UFC champion Ben Askren out of the race. Luis Antonio Pena and Canelo Alvarez weigh in. Another professional fighter that has made his opinion known about the Jake Paul situation is UFC lightweight Luis Antonio Pena, who was actually able to sit in on the YouTuber's last sparring session before the Ben Askren fight, taking to Twitter the fighters that he is thoroughly impressed with the technical skills that he's been able to develop, especially considering the short amount of time that he has been boxing for. Remember, the YouTube star only started to train back in 2018, when he was set to take on Deji as the build-up to the Logan vs. KSI fight. But Mexican superstar Canelo Alvarez doesn't think that Jake and Logan should be commemorated for their performances on the boxing scene. He has called out the pair for disrespecting the sport, mentioning that he is far from the only fighter who believes that this is the case. And although Jake can always point to the fact that he has three straight wins to his name and zero losses in his lucrative boxing career, critics are quick to hit back by referring to his contenders. Anes and Gibb was nothing more than another YouTuber, while Nate Robinson was none other than a professional basketball player. It can also be argued that Ben Askren had absolutely no experience in boxing, having won the majority of his UFC fights through intensive wrestling. So since Jake has 
has refused to go up against genuine professional boxers, there is no way to really judge whether he is any good or not. Tyson Fury gives his five cents. Regardless of the technique that Jake may bring to the ring, Tyson Fury seems to believe that the Paul fights are bringing to boxing cannot be separated from the sport, which has seen more viewings in the last few years than ever before. When asked to speak on the subject of Jake Paul, he responded by saying, absolutely fantastic for the game. These YouTube guys coming to professional boxing brings more eyes to our sport, the kids and more popular people are watching from different ages because of these guys, so it's very, very positive for our sport. In fact, if you look at the WBO middleweight championship fight defended by Demetrius Andrade and compared to the numbers brought in by the Paul versus Askren fight, you find that the championship barely registered in comparison. Considering how MMA has been kicking the butt of boxing for so long, as mentioned by Mike Tyson, there really couldn't be a better time to be a boxer. But there might be another reason as to why Tyson has been talking up a storm when it comes to Jake Paul. Rumor has it that Paul might be thinking of fighting Tyson's brother, Tommy, who first found fame on the UK version of the Love Island reality show. As it turns out, Tommy has already mentioned that he is more than willing to move up to the cruiserweight division so that he will be able to take on Jake Paul. And if that fight were to happen, it goes without saying that it would be absolutely huge. Floyd Mayweather hits back. It also looks like Floyd Mayweather is all for the YouTuber's integration into boxing, as seen by the fact that he will be fighting against Jake's brother, Logan, in a few weeks' time. But it looks like he isn't too impressed by what either Logan or Jake bring to the table. In fact, in an interview with Barstool Sports, he indicated that he has next to no strategy when it comes to his bout against Logan Paul. In his own words, I've just got to show up. If I wanted to go around, it'll go one round. If I wanted to go two, two. It's all up to me. In other words, the general consensus between professional fighters is that it's a good thing that Jake and Logan have brought on so much hype to the boxing scene, while their behavior outside of the scene, like Jake's grabbing of Mayweather's cap and being punched as a result, may bring negative consequences, but overall, the more eyes that watch the sport, the better. We'd all love to see Jake face off against an actual boxer, though, and hope he makes this happen at least at some point. What do you think? Feel free to let us know in the comments section down below.